Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about the account type default dimension in Dynamic 365 Business Central. So um, the dimensions is the first thing when you consider for the reporting in Dynamics Nav or Dynamic 365 Business Central. And uh, after you can set up the dimensions on your uh, master data like customer wonder item GL account. And uh, also, um, when you set them up, usually uh, if you are adding a new record and you have to set up the dimension on the new record as well. For example, I'm taking the, uh, so I, I have a dimension which is the customer group and uh, I can define that dimension on the customer card. So if I go to my customer list and then I can select all the customers and then I can set up all of them to have the customer group has the dimension. So what I can do, I can, so right now, if you look at a single customer record, I do not have any dimensions on it. You could see if I go to a dimension on this record, I don't have any dimension on this customer record. So, uh, for the default dimensions, if you want to set up the default dimension on all the customer to make sure when you post a document, the dimension from the master data is carried over to your posted documents, then you have to, you have to, uh, if you do it from your existing record, then you can click on select more, and then uh, you can go to the dimensions and then go to dimensions multiple, then you can set up a dimension there, okay. So, for example, I want to set up the customer group on the customer card, on each customer card as the dimension. So I can say add a new dimension for it, and then I can select the customer group, and then I can say, uh, so I don't want to specify the value because for different customer, this is only for me to know, like uh, for all the customer, it must to have a, it must to have a dimension value but you have to add them one by one. I want to say code mandatory. But you, you either have to use the configuration package to import for all your existing customer, or you have to do it one by one if they are on different values. If they, are the, they have the same value, for sure you can select a value and select all the, all the customers and then define the default dimensions multiple for all the customers, okay? So for example, I just want to do it, do it this way for now. After I did this, if I open any of this record, go to dimensions, then you could see I have a customer group dimension small with the value small assigned to all my customer card. But the prob problem with this default dimension is that if I create a new record and my new record will not have this dimension on it. The reason is like, because when I did this, I only select all my existing record. It does not include a new record. I'm going to create it. So now I, after I did this, if I highlight any of this customer record and I go to dimensions, then I can click on dimension single. This is a default dimension. Now I can see I will have the customer group small on it. No matter which record you select, you will see this. Okay. So let me select another one. For example, so we can go to this one and you can go to dimension single. Then you could see it has a customer group dimension small assigned to this customer 40,000 as well. So, but if I add a new record, for example, I'm creating a new customer. Let's say uh, the new customer, I just call it a uh, new, uh, so let's create a new customer. And I just call it call, uh, test default dimensions. Okay, so let's wait for this to pop up the window for me. Okay, stop this. So because I'm using the browser, sometimes it may crash. This. Okay, let's wait until this finish. So I have to stop this. Yeah, it just restarted my business central. Okay, let's take a look again. Let's go back to. Let's go back to uh, the customer list and then uh, we are gonna remove, uh, we're gonna create a new customer. And then for this customer, uh, if we go to the, this is a new customer, it created for me. And uh, we just call it uh, test default dimension for now. 
Okay. And then if we go to the customer dimensions, then you could see there's no dimension for this customer. Because when I did the default dimension, even I selected all the existing required, it will not include the new uh, customer required I created. So for the new customer record I created, it will not have that dimension. Okay. So then there's an issue for this. In order to guarantee all my document with the customer will have the dimension carried over even for the new customer. Um, so you, you try to avoid human errors like uh, when your CSR create a new customer, they missed the assigning the dimension to the new customer record. What you can do is like you can uh, assign a default, you can assign a, a account type dimension, account type default dimension on the customer. So what you can do here, you go to your dimensions and click on dimension, account type, default dimension. When you do this, then you can select the table, which is the customer table. So um, 18. So this is the customer table 18. That's the table I want to select. And then after you select this customer table and make sure uh, you can, so we can leave with the value blank because we just wanted to make sure when you post, then if you find um, if you find the customer didn't get the assigned dimension, then you can capture it on time. So you can just leave it code mandatory. So which means like uh, it will capture for all the new, even the new rec customer records you created. If you didn't assign a dimension and then you create a document, either a journal line or a sales document with that customer, when you post, it will populate the error if you didn't assign a dimension to that new customer record. Let's do a test for now. So we already created that test customer, which we call it test default dimension. We're gonna, uh, we didn't have a dimension assigned to that customer yet, but we went to the dimensions and the account type default dimension. We make sure we assign the account type default dimension for the customer table and made the code mandatory. So if that's the case, then the system will not allow me to miss a dimension on the document or journal lines I create for the for that cost for the customer. So uh, that's create a new record and use that customer on the customer card. We didn't have a dimension for that yet. So then let's see if the system will prevent me from posting the document. So on this sales order, I'm just gonna uh, enter that customer test default dimension, let's test default dim. So that's the new customer I created and I don't have the dimension on it. So I'm gonna put um, item on my sales line. So I'm gonna put an item on my sales line and then, so let's cancel this. It's kind of the, the browser has a little bit delay than I'm typing. So uh, for location, let's just leave it to blue location and quantity one, okay? So now if you go to the sales header and uh, you could see if I go to order, go to dimensions, then I, I still don't have any dimension for this customer, okay? But let's see if I try to post this order, if the system is gonna prevent me to post it. So I'm gonna just post ship and invoice because I didn't have a dimension then it gave me an arrow, the customer group dimension is the default dimension, and it must have a value. The reason you, you are getting this arrow because you defined the account type default dimension as customer group for the customer table. And then you, you, you selected the posting option as the code mandatory, which means you must have a dimension assigned before you, for, to the customer before you can post the sales document. If you don't, then the system will not allow you to post, okay? So that's it. So it achieved what I want. So if you if your CSR missed, if you want to uh, make sure uh, all the master required for the customer have a dimension assigned to it, if not, then you will not allow the sales document or journal line with the customer to post. Then you can set up the account type default dimension for the customer table. So that's that's how the account type default dimension is used. And another thing is like, uh, if like you're kind of lazy and you don't want to assign the customer, uh, each customer or dimension, you just want the system to default like uh, most of the customer 
if the default dimension will be the same, then uh, you will go to your dimensions, then you will select a value. For example, most of the customer will be uh, will be the small, will have the customer uh, group as a small, and uh, then you can assign a small. So I have here the value, I have a large, medium, small. But if most customers are small, you can assign this value to here. Then, uh, then you do not need to assign a dimension to every customer you create it. So the system will default enforce this when you create an order. So for example, for that new record, right? So if for that new uh, customer uh, test default dimension, I didn't enter a dimension. And previously on the sales order, it does not allow me to post. So that's create an another sales order after I added that account type default dimension with the value small. Because now, even I didn't enter the dimension value on, the, on that new customer card, and since I have the account type dimension enforced, so it will automatically insert the customer group dimension with a value small in the, on the, in the sales header if I create a sales order with that customer. So let's create a new, new sales order and enter the same customer. So this time it will allow me to post because it's automatically inserted by that account type default dimension. So I'm gonna just enter this again and then put in, then I'm just gonna enter the line for an item and try to post this document. Okay, so go to location. And now um, you, have re you can release, but if you don't want to release, you can post. When you post, it will automatically release the sales document. I'm just gonna quickly ship an invoice. Now you will see this time, it will allow me to post because it automatically inserted that default dimension to my sales header and that's visible value small from the account type default dimension setup. Even I didn't enter a dimension on the customer card. So this scenario will apply like uh, most of the customers will have that dimension. Only a uh, specific customer uh, may be large. So then you're kind of getting lazy. You don't want to enter it for each customer on each customer card. Then you can do this. Let's take a look at the dimension. Uh, so we can go to trying to find related Let's to see where it's going. So no, this is the customer view options. Oh, we can control D, no, test dimension. No, just trying to use the shortcut um, here. Okay, so uh, dimension, and you could see we have the customer group small it has been inserted to the post sales invoice. This is coming from the account type default dimension you set up for the customer table. Okay, okay so um, that's how you want to use your uh, account type default dimension. And uh, actually it's very useful for you to enforce your dimension policy for your dynamic snap or business central. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time.